everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we're moving on with another Moto X guide, this time on Moto Connect. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up. It allows you to get your text messages and phone calls right on your desktop, assuming you're using the Chrome web browser. Um, go in the settings here, and the first thing you want to do is go into Active Notifications. Now, we already did a guide on Active Notifications, but we didn't cover Motorola Connect, which is right here. Now, if you haven't um, checked this at all and, and gone through it for the first time, it's going to look a little different than this. Um, basically, you're just going to go hit it, and it's going to just give you the quick description of it and allow you to opt in, yes, I want to, and all that good stuff. And um, it might also set up your device ID if you already haven't done it. You might have already done it if you checked if you did the lost phone web portal, but you check in with your you check your Gmail address that you want to use for that and it will also put that in as well so you can go in here and uncheck this if you ever want to stop the service and or uh, change the um, the device ID consequently you can also do the uh, device ID down here going back to settings um, which is right down here uh, Motorola device ID the same screen and you can go ahead tap on that select a different Gmail address so once that's set up the next thing you need to do is uh, go into the uh, Chrome store and um, you from your desktop and that's at uh, chrome.google.com uh, slash web store and then you go in there and search for Motorola connect and uh, it'll come right up it's the only one and then uh, you add it to Chrome and go through that and then once it uh, goes ahead and installs it you just go through the process of agreeing to the service then you can sign in with your Gmail address And of course, accept it after you've done that. And then it'll take a couple moments uh, to sign in. Once it signs in, you can see it's going to download any calls, messages, and uh, contacts from the device. Of course, I won't have that many anyway. And then you can go, and then bingo, and then there's just some quick text messaging that I have, and then there's some recent phone calls as well. Uh, not much going on there. This is a review unit right now. So you can go ahead from this window and actually reply to any text messages that you get. And then just hit the send button, and it will go to um, whoever the uh, user is. In this case, it's, it's myself in a sense, but uh, it's just another uh, phone that I have tied to my name. Now, when they reply, well, you could be doing whatever you're doing. I'd be going on any web page right now. When they reply, um, it'll uh, come right up on the screen on the lower right, and uh, there it is. And then you can quickly go in and reply, and that window opens up again, and you can go ahead and uh, reply if you want. Now, the other thing that can happen is you can receive a phone call. And uh, by receiving a phone call, uh, you'll also get a pop-up for that as well. And there's the incoming call, and you can choose to ignore it or um, reply. Reply will be via text message and you can write up something if you want or of course you can choose uh, ignore the call and it will just simply ignore it so that's pretty much it that's Motorola Connect I hope this guide helped you out and until next time thanks for watching this is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android